Hi everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson. I have finally got my voice back enough to be able to do a video. And I'm so excited to share with you guys something today that the Lord actually told me a while back. And I shared this message with um, Women of Destiny's um, event that I spoke at this one sun Saturday morning. And I want to share this message with you. This message is from God Himself. It's to you, it's to his people, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy. So this message is a very powerful message. The Lord is going into details about who he is and um, and how he feels towards us. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Also, I am going to copy and paste uh, this uh, his words and put it down in the description here that you can actually copy and paste it so you can have it with you. Okay, so here is the message. This is the Lord saying, Most people don't focus on me or consider me in their lives. They focus on themselves and their desires. I desire to be a part of my people's lives every day. Please let me in. Please let me in. Consider me in your daily things. Consider me. Understand me. Learn about me. Research me in my word. Seek me in my word. Study my ways, my character my needs. So I have here, God's needs, I have respect, honor, and love. My wants, I have, I want my people to love me, honor me, and truly respect me. This is the part I want to, I want to kind of open up to, just your mind to open up to. I know a lot of times we feel like God doesn't have any needs, but here the Lord is saying here, that he needs, he has needs, he has wants. He wants us to respect and honor and love him. Even the Bible talks about, that's one of the first, well, that's the first greatest commandment there is, is to love God. That's a desire of his, that's a want of his, that's a need. He wants and needs for us to love, respect, and honor him. So it's beautiful here that he actually says that. He wants us to understand and learn about his heart. He says, my heart, my love, my will. And so then here, he's going to go into more details about him. He says, I am pure. I am free from sin. I am free from evil. I am holy. I am blameless harmless, pure. Everything about me is pure. My thoughts, my plans are pure. I am pure. Everything I do is pure. My heart is pure. Love is who I am. I am love. Come and be a part of my plans. I am meek and low in heart. I am gentle. Spend the day with me. Open up your heart to me. Draw close to me. Trust me. Seek me and find me. Open up your heart to me. I want the people to know me. I honor those who honor me. I trust those who trust me. I will give you all things if you believe in me. Come, I will give you rest. Rest from pain, suffering, struggles, trials, hurt, envy, and strife. I will set you free. Do you want to be free? Come to me. I love you. Come to me. 
open your heart to me. Now how beautiful are these words from our Lord. These are really, really beautiful. This is his heart. This is, you know, what God's heart is about. The great thing that this message actually stuck with me. These words from God actually stuck with me. They are a part of me now. When I first heard him say these words about him being pure. No evil being in him. Not even the smallest like speck of evil. No evil in him. A hundred percent pure. Purer than the purest filter, water filter that you can buy. A hundred percent pure is God. He's holy, blameless, harmless, pure. Everything about me is pure, he says. His thoughts, even his thoughts are pure. His plans, every plan that he has for you, every person on this world, for me, his plans are pure for us. A hundred percent pure. His heart is pure. Love is who I am. I am love. So I hope you guys go through this. Like, this is the Lord when he gave me this. I mean, when he gives me stuff like this, I mean, it's very powerful. It changes me. It changes my, my mindset. It changes who I am. Because I get to see God at a different level, a deeper, deeper level. And it draws me closer. It makes me want to be closer to Him. It makes me trust Him. It makes me love Him more. It makes me want to share everything with Him. Um, because there's no one else in this world that is like God. No one is like this. And so when you learn these things about God, it makes you want to sacrifice and give things to to him and do things for him because of who he is and how perfect and pure he is and how loving he is so i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope it touched your heart uh please leave in the comments um just leave how it made you feel uh, if you felt god's heart in this um in his words in this message leave a comment below and just um also if you would like to share some encounters some visitations some dreams or anything that you've had uh, with the Lord please share those things also down in the comments I would love to read those um, and any kind of prayer requests you can uh, leave those also in the comments so I hope you guys have a blessed 2018 may the Lord bless you everything that you do this year in Jesus name and also I have some prayers I I'm going to do a few recordings today um, I have to try to catch up, so I'm going to record a few things, and I'm going to do some prayers for uh, to, to release the blessings upon you and remove all types of curses off of your finances, your relationships, um, your destiny, everything also. So I hope you guys uh, tune in for my next video. God bless.